Hey everyone, Pastor Chelsea here, and you're watching The Thursday Show. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but that's my Christmas tree in the background. I know, I put it up last week, a little bit early. A lot of times I would wait till after Thanksgiving, but this year I think we just needed a little Christmas decorating early. Are you with me? If you put up your Christmas tree already, tell me in the comments, or maybe even show me a picture. And if you're waiting till after Thanksgiving, tell me the same too. I'm curious to know where you all fall in that whole Christmas tree decorating early or not early debate. But regardless of where you fall, if your tree is up or if it's not, the Advent season is just around the corner and ahead of us. And I wanted to talk today a little bit about what Advent actually means. For me, it wasn't a tradition that I really grew up with. I think the extent of my Advent experience had to do with making those paper chains where you would tear off a loop each and every single day to kind of count down to Christmas. I remember also there was a year where my mom got me one of those calendars. You know, you had the little doors that you would open up and it would tell you the Christmas story throughout it. It's crazy how big Advent has become. I even saw at the grocery store an Advent cheese calendar last week which definitely intrigued me. Tell me, what have been your Advent experiences? Did you grow up celebrating Advent in the church or in your home? And if so, how did you do it? Because in a lot of churches, Advent is deeply ingrained into their Christmas traditions. Advent typically takes up four weeks leading up to Christmas, the four Sundays leading up to Christmas Day. So that means for this year, Advent season technically begins November 29th, which is a Sunday. The word Advent actually comes from the Latin word Adventus, which means arrival. It has to do with awaiting the arrival of something, or in our case, someone. Nobody seems to know precisely when in the Western Christian Church, Advent started becoming a specific season in the calendar, although it seems to have popped up quite early in church history makes sense since it's all about celebrating the birth of Jesus. But it seems like it's been pretty consistently within church calendars ever since the Middle Ages. Advent or Adventus is the part of the calendar that's all about anticipation. And in our Christian church, there are two things that are being anticipated. The first part of the observance of Advent it, which is celebrated the four Sundays before Christmas, is all about reenacting the centuries of anticipation of the birth of Jesus as written about by the prophets like Isaiah in the Old Testament. So many songs that were traditionally sung in churches during this seasonal time had lines that had to do with this waiting period. Songs like, O Holy Night, which has some lyrics that say, Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. That's also why part of Handel's Messiah quote the prophet Isaiah before they get to some of the more familiar Christian parts. Other songs, I, had, I didn't know these ones, but maybe you do, Comfort ye my people and every valley shall be exalted. These all correspond directly with the readings from Isaiah chapter 40 that a person might hear in a church pew during the Advent season. It makes me think of one of my favorite Christmas passages in Isaiah, which comes from chapter 9, verse 6, and it says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. When Isaiah wrote those words of prophecy, Jesus hadn't been born, it would still be years and years before he did. But even then, Isaiah knew that Jesus was something to look forward to, someone to look forward to, and that he would be our wonderful counselor, our mighty God, our everlasting Father, and our Prince of Peace. But in Christian teaching, Advent is also about a second type of arrival and a second type of waiting. We look forward to the arrival of Jesus at the second coming, when he will set things right in the world, when he will erase death and suffering. And so in addition to the anticipation of Jesus' birth in the first coming, which we celebrate at Christmas, Advent is also set aside as a time of quietness and reflection meant for Christians to not get torn down by the brokenness of the world, but to encourage them to anticipate the day when Jesus brings ultimate peace and ultimate healing to our world. 
Joy to the World, which is a familiar Christmas song, was always held for the very end of the Advent season in many churches to be sung because it would sing about that second arrival of Jesus. Some of the lyrics from that are, No more let sin and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is found. So while Advent has been celebrated differently throughout the years, throughout church and denominational experience, the thing that remains is that Advent is a season of awaiting the arrival of Jesus. There's so much incredible hope in that, both in awaiting the celebration of his first coming and also awaiting the day in the future when Jesus will return and remove sin and brokenness from our world. I think this year we need that hope more than ever. And so our church staff wanted to provide a gift that reflected on that hope to you, our church family. We've put together this Advent devotional, which is meant to be used for the four weeks leading up to Christmas. If you want to start it on the official Advent Sunday, November 29th is the day that you want to begin. But throughout this devotional, we have different themes for each week that correspond with many of the traditional themes that you would find in an Advent wreath or Advent calendar. Walking through hope, faith, joy, and peace. And so if you are joining us in person anytime soon, grab one of these devotionals and take it home and use it throughout this season of Advent. But if you would like a digital copy, we also have that available. Just go to our church website and I'll provide the links in the description and you can download your own copy of this devotional. Our prayer as a church staff is that it blesses you with hope, faith, joy, and peace this season as we all together celebrate the first and second arrival of our Lord Jesus Christ. So pick up your copy or download your copy today. I hope you'll really take us up on joining us during this Advent season. I can't wait to celebrate Christmas with you, our church family. Well, Colonial Woods, that's what I have for you this week. Thank you so much for joining me on the Thursday show, and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Have a great week.